I got arrested on February 1st, 2021 for substance use and my classification officer said I was arrested 28 times in the last 10 years. If you've seen the mug shots and it was, I was living a really bad life. I experimented since I, at the age of 12 with alcohol and marijuana and, and different other drugs and slowly progressed to harder and harder drugs as the years went on. I uh, graduated high school. I was an uh, amateur pro skateboarder uh, doing competitions throughout Arizona State and California. So I didn't really care much for college. And with skateboarding comes with substance use and violence and whatever, just it comes together. Started a family and all that. Got married. And then I started two businesses. I had a bunch of clientele with landscaping. I got overwhelmed with all the work. I had a lot of greed and pride and so having all this work, I thought I would try that, that go, go, go drug and experimented with that and lost everything, family, cars, everything I had, straight up living on the streets. But it was a period of four to six years of living homeless on the streets, eating out of dumpsters, the whole, I was the guy that had the beard, the long dreaded hair. And I ended up bonding out of jail and choosing a bunch of other locations other than the, this one, this place completely changed my life. With the focus and the structure this organization has, is it, if you really work the program here, it offers tremendous opportunities and skills and just, I like the abbreviation for Transforming Life Center because before arriving at the gates, I didn't think I had any problems or issues or difficulties. I knew I was a, substance use or drug addict, whatever stigma the world will put on you. Or this, like I said, this place is, it transforms your life, life. And I'm a perfect example of that. Like the starting of it is building a relationship with Jesus Christ. And uh, I didn't know what that was before I came through the gates here. And relying on him, walking side by side with him is, you, you won't ever go back to the darkness. This place has shown me I could take a career path in behavioral health. And then they offered, they blessed me with the opportunity to be, to work there, be coordinator. And I love watching these guys succeed when they come into the gate. Like I was broken and just didn't want to be here. Just wanted to get through this and go back out into society. I love it. I like watching these guys come in broken like I was and then seeing them progress as they move through the program and get ready for society and they make better men for God, themselves, and society. It's beautiful.